Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into the assignment. This is the assignment. It says choose six things that you like from the list below and look at the prices. List the ones that you like in a Google in a Google Sheet. Do the total or sum like I showed you in this video, in the video. After you correctly do the total or sum, tell me at the bottom of the work how much money will you need to buy those things that you chose. So make sure you watch the video first. This is what this is saying. So here's the list. If you want to choose Xbox, you choose Xbox and then in the next column you're going to put $400. If you want to choose bicycle, you choose that and you put $150. If you want to choose puzzles, you put that and you write $40. Marbles, $20. So you choose six things. So I'm going to choose uh, Xbox for $400. i am going to choose Bicycle for $150. i am going to choose Balloons because I like balloons. For $30, I'm going to choose Basketball. For 25, I'm also going to choose a tennis racket because I like tennis for $80. So I chose five things so far. I need to choose one more. And I'm going to choose the binoculars. Okay, that's the thing that you use to look at things that are far, far away. Okay, that's for $35. Those are the things that I'm going to choose. So I chose six things. So I'm going to show you what you're going to do to go to Google Sheets. You go here, view assignment. You're going to go here and you're going to choose Google Sheets. Right here is Google Sheets. Don't choose Google Docs. You're choosing Google Sheets this time. All right. I'm going to open it. And here is Google Sheets. You see, these are columns. These are columns. All right, so this is another column. Column C, column D. These are columns. They go up and down. These are rows. These are rows. These are rows, okay? So I'm going to make use column here. And remember I said I'm choosing the X box. So I'm going to put X box here. And uh, when you're putting in a number that you want to use, you're going to put just this number here. Xbox is for $400. And then I chose the bicycle. So I'm going to write the word bicycle. And that was for $150. You just hit return so you could go to the next one. Uh, you're going to type in the word the next thing I put is balloons. Once I do that, you could hit tab. I could hit tab and it's going to go to the next column. The, buy, the balloons were $30. I put $30 here. It goes back under the balloons. Then I chose basketball, so I had to write the word basketball. It writes down the last thing that you wrote before just in case you want to write it again. Basketball. Hit the tab. And that was for $25. I just put $25. And then I'm going to write down tennis racket. Racket. And that was for $80. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go back here. And then I'm going to go to binoculars. Binoculars. All right. And that was for $35. So you see, those are the things that I chose. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could also put a number next to them and say this is number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. So now what we want to do is the total. I can write down the word total. I put a colon because I'm saying I want that. So for you to get a total, you have to put something here. You have to put information here to tell the computer I want to do the total. You can do the total 
this way, where you go here, this is what they call functions, and I could do sum. Sum is the same thing as total or addition. So I could do sum. Once I do sum, it's saying, what do you want to sum? So I can go, go from here to here, and I'm saying I want you to do sum of C2, column, see this is saying C2, C2 to C7, that's why it shows that. Once I do that, I just have to hit return or enter, and it gives me the total. So I will need $720 to buy these things. Something else you could do is you could tell, all right, we're not going to do that. Let me show you something else we can do. I can copy these and show you a different way to do this. I'm going to copy this and put these numbers here instead so you can see another way to do it. All right? So the same numbers you could do something like this, equal sum, and then put this. Once you do that, it starts to highlight what you want to sum, and then you hit return, and you get the same number. So you could use this, and you say sum, or you could just do it the way I showed you here. Okay? So try this out. Do your best. So at the end, when you're done, you can say, I will need $720 to buy what I like. That's what you would do. Hit enter, and you're done with the assignment. Do your best, and uh, if you have any questions, just write it in the comment section.